Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. If you're interested in working on your vocabulary, if you're preparing for any of these tests that you see here, T's, HESI's, GRE, GMAT, SAT, ACT, or even TOEFL and IELTS, if you're interested in improving your vocabulary, a, a, a decent vocabulary is a must for any of these tests. If you wish to improve your vocabulary, you will find at my channel about 75 videos, vocabulary videos, which will help you do just that, improve your vocabulary, that is. There are 75 videos as of right now, as I speak. I intend to make few more, most likely up to 100, but as of right now, as I speak, today is, uh, I believe, October the 12th. 2014. As of right now I have 75 videos. They are there if you wish to help yourself, if you wish to avail yourself to those videos. Today we'll talk about the notion of homonyms, which relates of course to vocabulary. Do you know what homonyms are? If somebody were to come up to you and ask you what are homonyms, would you be able to describe, would you be able to articulate the definition, proper definition of homonyms? Let's take a look, shall we? Homonyms First of all, what does the word homonym literally mean? Before we actually worry about the definition of homonyms, let's talk about what the word literally means. Let's dissect the word homonyms, let's take it apart, let's break it up and see what it means actually literally. Homonym, as you can see, is made up of two parts, the prefix and suffix. The prefix homo, as you know, simply means same. And the suffix nim is where the Latin word where it comes from a Latin word, which means Latin term, which means name. So homonym literally means same name. Why are these words referred to as having the same name? Because we, are, we pronounce them in the same way. We call them the same thing. He is called Michael and he's called Michael. They have the same name. They have the same name. Homonym means same name. What are homonyms? Well, homonyms are words and typically they come in pairs. Very rarely you can find a triplet. Typically you find pairs. These are pairs of words. These are pairs of words. That, are, that have different meanings, they have different meanings, they have different spellings, they're not spelled in the same way, they do not mean the same thing. For some strange and inexplicable reason, we have chosen, we have decided to pronounce them in the same way, but are pronounced in the same way. One more time, these are words that have different meanings and different spellings, but are pronounced in the same way. Let's look at some examples, shall we? Let's look at some examples of homonyms. Can you think of some? If you wish, actually, it might not be a bad idea actually to pause the video right now. Now that we understand the definition of homonyms, it might not be actually a, be a bad idea to pause the video and see if you can come up with at least 10 pairs. Okay, I'll give you just that. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video if, so, if you decide to, to do so. Let's look at some, shall we? Here's, here's the first one. Should have taken up so much room. Let's start with something very simple. How about no and no? As you can see, obviously these two words have different meanings. No and K N O W no, as in to know something. They have different meanings, they have different spelling, but they're pronounced the same way, they have the same pronunciation. No. Sun and sun. Again, you get the idea. S O N sun, S U N sun. They have different spelling, different meaning. Here's another one. How about by and by or B U I by. So here, every once in a while, instead of a pair, here we have triplets. They are pronounced both of all of the all of these three words are pronounced the same way. By by as in to buy something, to purchase something, to say goodbye or by is in preposition. How about night and night. Night as in night and day and night as in the fellow with a shiny armor on a horse. How about right and right. To write something 
and right as opposed to left. Let's keep on going. We need room. I need room. I should have taken up this much room here. Six. There's a simple one. C and C. Here's a, here's a tricky one. Principle and principle. This is the one that sometimes people have trouble remembering. People have trouble distinguishing or keeping them separate. There is actually a mnemonic device that the kids are taught, which I'm going to share with you here. Mnemonic. What's a mnemonic? Mnemonic is a memory device. Mnemonic is something that you make up, something that you make up to help you remember something. The mnemonic that kids are taught, the mnemonic that kids are taught in the U.S. school, is that they are told to think of their principal, to think of their principal as their pal. Principal is your pal. They are told. Pal as in chum, buddy, mate, friend, amigo. My principal was never my amigo, but nonetheless, I am told to think of him as my pal, as my buddy, as my friend, as my, as my mate. My, my, he's my pal. My principal is my pal. And this principal, this principal as in rule or guidance that you follow, that you adhere to. Let's, let's keep on going. Is your principal your pal? Well, I doubt very much. Besides, where I come from, we never had principals. We had either a headmaster or headmistress. In my school we had headmistress, never a principal. Number eight. Headmistress and she was very stern. Very stern, very forbidding. Number eight. Our and now this one is a question mark. Now I want you to listen, I don't want you to I don't want you to get startled. I don't want you to freak out with what I'm about to share with you. But I am not a native speaker of English language. So once in a while, I'm going to make boo-boos. Alright? So if that happens, I do not want you to get your knicker in the twist. Give me some latitude. Do you understand? So I'm not quite sure if this is the exact homonym or not. I think, I think they are. I think they are. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep, I should keep my fingers crossed. Here's another one, number nine. Die and die. Die as in the, to dye some fabric, to, to change the color of it, to dye it. You might dye your hair. Die as in D Y E. Here's another one, number ten. Q or Q. Do you know the difference between these two words? This Q, this Q is a hint, is a hint or a signal or a suggestion. So when the director tells you to wait for my Q on the stage, I'm told to wait for my Q. I should, I'm told to wait for my Q. The director tells me that when she drops, when she drops that, uh, when she drops that, uh, uh, whatever she is holding in her hand, uh, when she drops that glass, that's your cue to come on the stage. Wait until your cue. Or, or when, or, or when such, such and such line is spoken, when such and such line is spoken by the, that particular person, that's when you make your entrance. That's your cue. That's your signal. That's your hint. Its cue is a suggestion or a hint or a signal. That's C U E. What is this Q? They are pronounced the same way, obviously. Obviously, they are pronounced the same way, which is why they are called homonyms. What is this Q? This Q is a line, line of, line of people, or cars, or it could be anything. A line of something. When people get in line, or when cars get in line at a toll booth, that's a Q of line. In the U.S., we get in line. In the rest of the world, people get in the Q. Number ten, number eleven. Number eleven. I know we're getting at a very leisurely pace. 
number 11 male and male again I'm not exactly 100% sure about the pronunciation of the words but I think they are homonyms sale and sale sale as in to go on water on sailing here and here 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 as in bunny rabbit you must have heard of a story for hare and a tortoise that here number four very very which, which means to differ again this one is a tricky one I'm not 100% sure if they are homonyms or not but I'm but I think they are here's a tricky one these are homonyms now do you know what this word means metal with double T M E T T L E to have metal to show metal means to show courage to, to show courage to show valor to be intrepid if, to be intrepid if you show valor if you show courage you show metal you have metal metal and metal Remember? I think technically I should put a question mark next to this too so I'm giving you this so-called homonyms where half of them I'm not quite sure if they are or not I'm going to leave it up to you. Number 16. There and there. There as in as in not here but over there. There as in the possessive pronoun. It's not ours, it's theirs. S O M E sum and S U M sum. Cast and cast. Cast as in to mold something. To mold something. I think, do you think, do you think this one? deserves this one merits a question mark I'll put a question mark here because a native person would be able to tell you if they are pronounced exactly the same way or not but they, to me they sound alike cast and cast who knows and then I have another pair which is no good at all because it's a repetition of what we already covered in 14 so that actually puts a damper in my plan because I thought I had nice round number of 20 so it looks like we're gonna to have to stop at 19 because the next one I have is very and very which we already did in number 14 I was not uh, careful in my list and I have a repetition so that's no good the last one we have is discrete and discrete now these two words that you see here these two words that you see here discrete I'm not going to go through the defin definition of these two words right now because it's going to take some while, time we already learned these words if you're interested in learning the difference between between the word this discrete and that discrete vocabulary vocabulary words just type in vocabulary words day 8 or if you happen to be preparing if you happen to be preparing for a certain exam certain test type in the name of the test GRE vocabulary words SAT vocabulary words SET GMAT vocabulary words whatever you type in doesn't matter regardless of what you type in the video will pop right up just type in GRE vocabulary words day 8 video will pop right up and you will learn the difference between these two words these two obviously have different meanings they have different spellings obviously but they pronounce in the same way discrete I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.